Hey guys, we're back with some more Dishonored. Well, I think I just fucked that up. We're back with some Dishonored, and we're back here at his bed. So let's go. Have ourselves a nice nap. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Gorbo. It makes me feel better. No problem, sweetie. Stay here. I don't care. We can go interrogate Sokolov. Ooh! Mm, sweet. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's a good one. He does look a little scary. A little creepy, actually. Even without the mask, looks like a creeper. Oh crap, what the hell? I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers shaped like snowflakes. Okay. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I realize well, everything you're thinking, I already realize. I'm a natural philosopher, but that doesn't mean I'm not a gentleman. Or... I try to be one. Okay, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this, this look? Oh, okay. <laughs> Is there anything in here? Is there anything valuable in here? No, just some books and stuff? Okay. Well, there you guys go. You guys could, uh. I don't know, do whatever you guys do with that. I'm gonna go talk to Sokolo. <laughs> Attention, Dunwalls. You never cease to amaze. That's right, I am amazing. Royal physician. I believe you and Corvo knew each other in four days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah. I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress, and the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying this city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry blood, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us, so far. We know you painted the portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. Hmm. Really? Interesting book. <laughs> You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. 
It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Really? No, nah, I'm not. Who cares? They eat you. Ah. Sorry, sir. I will tell you what you need oh, to know. Easy. I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. <laughs> I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes, you will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. Ooh. Got a new saying in here. Alright. God damn it. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You should give it to him. You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. Yeah. You just go and give it to him yourself. You lazy bum. Huh. Do not faint or something. I don't wanna be stabbing people here. <laughs> oh, it's Wallace. I thought you were Piero. I believe I spent all my money. <laughs> But I need sleep darts if you got them. You require my unique services? We can quickly return to my shop. Oh, I wanted some sleep darts. And I unlocked boots still. But I need sleep darts. And we'll take the boot still, why not? Have you ever been in a sea battle? Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink me? Of course. Whee! Alright guys. Time to put on our mask and go rape some biatches. Boil costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? Better believe I'm ready. Let's do this. Instant loading screen. How do you guys like that? Oh, great. The Lord Regent's pulling out all the stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, tall boys. To the party. That mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. Alright, I guess the only side mission we get is the optional one. Which is delivering this to whoever the hell that guy is.